Hello everyone and welcome back to another video on the channel. Um, I would like to preface this episode by saying that I would recommend, um, despite the fact that I've dubbed some gameplay from Star Wars Battlefront over today's discussion, um, that you should, as the listener, use headphones uh, with this video to get a more immersive experience. I would humbly ask that you sit back, relax, and permit me the next few minutes of your day to sit and reflect. If you are ready, then let us begin. Average. A word that is rather common in our language today. What other words or themes do you think of when you hear this word? Mediocre nondescript. One thing that is certain though is that nobody of sane mind would freely admit to being average. Yet, doesn't it always seem like this is what people aspire towards? I remember going to a school where it was cool to be dumb. It was cool to disrespect the teachers. It was cool to be lazy. I remember thinking to myself, I don't belong here. I remember distinctively being criticised and mocked by my peers for being a nerd or being too serious. In fact, some might say this was a defining hallmark of my education, except it wasn't. From the time I was five years old, I knew that education was going to be my profession. And for 16 years, I relentlessly pursued this goal until finally, in 2020, my dream came true. In all of those years, I could have decided that being serious about my goal was too difficult or too time consuming. But I didn't. Well, mostly. Of course, I would be a liar if I said that there were not obstacles and difficulties along the way. But that's nothing new. So where does all of this lead to? Welcome to the fifth episode of Minutes with Six, entitled The Joy of Being Serious. The title from this episode comes from a pamphlet of a speech given by Mark Van Doren to a university undergraduate at the University of Illinois on September the 15th, 1963. The link to the pamphlet is in the description. In this speech, Van Doren discusses the joys of intellectual pursuit and why being serious about using intellect or intelligence is so vital. This has acted as a guiding principle in my philosophy of education since my discovery of this document. When I feel my values slipping, I return to this document and absorb the insights. So what does this all mean for you and I? Well, in a world where we are told we should care less, live carefree lifestyle and not take things too seriously, I present today the opposing argument. I want to say to you, be more serious. However, I don't want this to become a spurious rant about nothing specific, so allow me to suggest a theme to this reflection. Responsibility, or in other words, taking responsibility. I would like to offer you a moment to reflect on what I have thus far mentioned and give you a moment to reflect on your responsibilities in your life. So, how did you get on? What did you come up with? Here are some examples that you might have thought of. Your job, your family, your friends, your co-workers. But what about you? Did you mention yourself? If you didn't, it is probably about time that you start. Being responsible for yourself is bloody tough. But what if I told you that taking yourself seriously could actually be a great pleasure? People who are constantly saying, I don't care, which, by the way, is a phrase I detest, are giving others permission to not take them seriously. And on a serious note, no pun intended, who wouldn't want others to take us seriously? 
who wouldn't want others to show us the respect and treat us like human beings? So if you want this from others, why not start from inside yourself? What might this actually look like in practice? Being serious is about taking action. It is about putting your intellect to work and thinking deeply and critically about what you're doing as often as possible. Challenge yourself by challenging your thinking and be willing to be wrong. Admit to your mistakes, that's called taking responsibility, and be willing to make changes. That is how we learn and how we grow. Let me offer to you now a reflection from Stream 181, where I had some requests for tutorial videos and another episode of this series. My response to such was as follows. I am not sure people really want to see that because the views are not as good by comparison to gameplay or comeback videos, for example, or words to that effect. This was fundamentally the wrong thought process and a response to a question that I did not consider properly before providing an adequate answer. Just like with this episode of the series, if people don't want to watch, then this video is not for them. I am not here to tell you how to live your life because that would be a woefully misguided message. I have to take responsibility and be serious about the platform I have built here on this channel and to ensure that the message I am sending is one of courteousness and consideration. We all have the power to influence others, but what we choose to do with such power defines the kind of person we become. Those who take seriously such power with a guiding principle of a moral compass are the ones who understand the great weight and importance of personal responsibility. Without such responsibility, and without people to have been serious about such a concept, man would not have progressed as far as we have now. But there is still so much work to do. I would like to conclude by once again offering the opportunity to reflect on the discussion today. I'd like to pose the following questions to you. Do you take yourself seriously enough? What could you do to be more serious and what might this look like in your life? To all those who say that we shouldn't be so serious, I simply offer this response. If you don't take yourself seriously, then who else will?